Imagine you are an orchestra. You play the violin, you play the cello, you play the flute. So now, if you all play with the same rhythm and you keep the tempo, your music can be a pleasure. But imagine now if you all play with different rhythms. Your music is going to be unlistenable. That's why rhythm is very important in music. But let me tell you that rhythm is not just important in music. Rhythm is also crucial in biology. Indeed, as living organisms, we have adapted to the rotation of the Earth that, as we all experience, produces an alternation of day and night, light and darkness, warm and cold. And because of that, we developed an internal rhythm called circadian rhythm, where circa means about and dian means a day. This very fascinating rhythm is a tempo of 24 hours and tells us when it's time to go to bed or time to wake up, time to eat or time to fast time to be active or time to rest. And as for an orchestra with unsynchronized players, a defective circadian rhythm can have very unpleasant consequences. Indeed, if our internal clock doesn't tick in synchrony with the external environment, we have an increased risk of developing diseases like diabetes, psychiatric disorders, or even cancer. Now, if we zoom into our cells, we see that every one of them is a ticking clock made of molecules that oscillate in a very coordinated manner, allowing us to keep our 24 hours tempo. Another process that occurs at a single cell level is the so-called cell cycle, which causes a cell to progressively increase in size, duplicate its genetic material, and when everything is ready, split in two giving rise to two daughter cells identical to their mother. This cell cycle typically lasts one day, and this process too needs to be finally regulated, otherwise cells will continuously divide and giving rise to uncontrolled proliferation, which will eventually lead to cancer. So during my thesis as a biologist, I zoomed into cells and tried to find out if these two processes are connected at the single cell level. And after years of investigation, I got the answer, and the answer is yes, these two cycles are very tightly synchronized. So these findings help us understanding how synchronization between different processes is important to keep balancing ourselves. And reminds us how important is to keep the tempo. Thank you.